Dear students, today I am going to talk about the minogram. Here I have already talked about in the previous video that uh, minogram is a part of the sternum. So we have already talked about that minogram represent the uh, handle of the sword. So the minogram here you can see this bone is called a minogram and uh, it uh, has, uh, has two surfaces. One is the interior surface, the other is posterior surface. The interior surface is convex and it is rough here you can see and the posterior surface is smooth and concave. Uh, it has two, uh, four border, one is the superior border, the inferior border and the true lateral border. Here you can see the superior border is a notch, this notch is called a sternal notch. And uh, on either side of the sternal notch here you can see there are depression or notch which is called a clavicular notch. And the medial end of the clavicle is articulated here through a giant which is called a sternoclavicular giant. And uh, here you can see this is called the inferior border of the minogram. This inferior border is articulated with the upper end of the body of the sternum. Uh, here you can see through an angle. Here uh, from literally you can see there is a slight posterior uh, deviation of the minogram. Here you can see and there is an angle formation between the minogram and the body of the sternum which is called the angle aploides which is about 163 degree. And it has two lateral borders. Here you can see these are called the lateral border of the minogram. On the lateral border there are a full facet for the first costal cartilage of the rib. The first costal cartilage of the rib is articulated here. And uh, below there is a demi facet uh, for the second costal cartilage of the rib and there is a corresponding demi facet on the lateral border of the body of the sternum here you can see and the second costal cartilage of the rib is articulated here. So in between these uh, two uh, facets there is a depression here you can see. So this was all about the minogram.